Hey guys, Chris here for GQ37. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sanding and painting the wheels on my Z. Yes, the bigger one. They are quite hurt with curb rash and looking pretty crusty. So we're going to take them from that to this. I'm going to sand all the curb rash off, grind it down, clean them up, make them look new again, and paint them. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do just that because previously my wheels were looking very hurt. The previous owner made it a hobby of his, I believe, to hop all the curbs he possibly could and inflict as much cosmetic damage as possible. So we're going to fix that. All right, here's some things you're gonna need. Uh, some index cards you can use to uh, separate the tire and the wheel. Um, some primer. General primer, uh, one can auto do it. And then I'm using the Krylon Fusion paint. This stuff is great, it adheres to all kinds of plastics and metals really, really well, good coverage, and it doesn't chip off like a lot of paint. So this stuff holds up well. Uh, also got some 2K clear here. Uh, I didn't end up using it, and I'll discuss that later on in the video. Again, I'm gonna put links to all the stuff that I'm using in the video description below, um, but we'll discuss the 2K clear later. I'm also using some sanding discs, different uh, grits, uh, the lowest being 120 and going all the way up to 800. For the most part, I'm mainly using the 240 and 320 to start with the rougher areas and then feathering it out to about 600. I did end up using the 800 by hand when it was all done, but uh, I'll discuss that in a little bit later. Also has the Velcro disc for your grill, uh, your grill, your drill, and you're going to want to use eye protection and a respirator just so you're not breathing in all this uh, paint dust that you're sanding off. Safety first, I'm going to start with the 240 and I'm going to go ahead and work on the rough edges of this wheel. I did a little starter area to test it out and it goes pretty smooth. You're just getting the roughness. Now normally I wear gloves when I do a lot of these videos. I'm not with this because I want to constantly be checking and feeling to see how smooth it is. You can't just go by looks. You got to kind of feel and see when it is smooth as you want it to be. And this wheel wasn't too bad, but I'm just showing you a mild one. And uh, we'll be going from there. I started with the 240, then I worked to 320, and then 600. Once you feel like you've got it as smooth as it's going to be, just make sure to go all the way around with your hand. And also, it helps to move the car. You know, there's some things that you can't see. So you want to rotate the wheel and make sure there's nothing hiding on the bottom. Now we're going to move on to a rougher wheel. It has a lot of little pitting and curb rash, uh, some deeper grooves. So I'm going to start with actually the 120 on these hard edges right here, uh, just to cut down some of the work. Although you can you can do a 240, uh, it's just going to take a little bit longer. So I went straight for the big guns to really get some of this chewed up area, uh, we'll kind of work down a little bit, and then I backed up to a, a 240 and then a 320. Um, it goes fairly quickly, but you really don't want to be in a hurry. You want to do a good job, so so uh, just keep an eye on it and uh, keep working it. I had never done this before. Um, I just decided to try it out and video it as I was doing it <laughs> in hopes that it was going to turn out well, and it did. Uh, again, just take your take your time with it and uh, and feather it in. The nice thing about using the drill is that you can change directions. If you're getting a lot of resistance and you're having a hard time holding it, just switch directions. Put it in reverse or forward or vice versa. It does not matter which way you're spinning it. The whole idea of sandpaper, of course, is friction. So, you know, if you're having trouble one way, you can switch it. If you're using a buffer, that's not necessarily the case. But that is a nice thing about using the drill. Again, just a quick reminder, you want to constantly be turning your wheel to make sure you're getting all the surfaces and that nothing is hiding around a corner. You don't want to find that out later. At this point, I worked my way all the way around the wheel, all the way down to 600. All that curb rash is gone. It is perfectly smooth. Although it doesn't look like much now, it will once it's painted. And uh, it is a lot better than those deep grooves that were there before. Those are all gone now. So now I'm going to take the wheels off and do a final sand down. All right, guys, and boom, the wheels are off. The car is uh, all jacked up. Uh, it just looks kind of funny. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead 
and uh, hand sand the rest of these with a little 320. Uh, I'm going to spare showing you guys that, but I am going to go ahead and get in all these little nooks and crannies real good and make sure it's even. Then I'll probably hit it with a little 600 to feather it in, and then uh, we'll be ready to clean them and uh, let them dry prior to painting. So uh, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now, so definitely don't forget this step. All right, so I uh, went a little above and beyond, probably more than is necessary, but I actually sanded them down to an eight, uh, 800 grit uh, just to smooth out everything I possibly could uh, before the, the final uh, priming here. But I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I'm going to blow off any excess uh, dust from sanding with my leaf blower before I wipe it all down with some alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol. I'm gonna spray everything down really good. I'm gonna do that for all four wheels, but real quick, I want to go ahead and make note of why I haven't removed this yet. Um, it depends on what color you're painting your wheels. I'm going black, and so I'm gonna paint this black as well. I think it looks kind of funny when people leave that out and it's silver. I mean, to each their own. My lug nuts are still gonna be silver, but. I want the rest of the wheel to be black, uh, just like it is on my uh, QX over there. So that's what I'm going to do with this as well. I'm actually going to leave it in. I could pop it out and paint it separately, but then I'll run the risk of chipping the paint when I put it back in. So I'm actually just going to leave it in um, when I paint these, all right? So to each their own, you know, if you're go depending on the color, you may want to pop this out and leave it silver. That's totally up to you. That's just... Wanted to explain why that's still in there. All right, got them all taped up. I was going to use uh, the index cards or playing cards like I usually do, but it's just too windy today uh, to, to do that. So they were blowing around, so I had to old school tape them in newspaper. It takes a lot longer, but uh, it does the job. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and get started with our first coat of primer. All right, guys, three coats of primer on. The last coat was pretty thick, so uh, I'm going to let these dry about 10 minutes, and then we'll get started with the painting. So these are all ready to go. All right, guys, first coat of black. All right guys, so I put five coats of black down. The wheels are looking great at this point. But as I mentioned earlier, I got some 2K clear, which is the best clear coat you can get in a can. It's pretty much what's used at the body shops. It's much better than that 3M stuff. So at this point, I decided I'm gonna put a couple coats of that down. I shook it up for several minutes and it had been in sitting in the sun so that the temperature would be uh, appropriate. And for whatever reason, it just started spitting and sputtering uh, about halfway through All right, the so, first coat. Uh, the 2K clear is a little bit of a disappointment for me. Um, despite following the directions and shaking it a long time, it's spattering, uh, spitting, whatever, sputtering, whatever you want to call it, drops of this clear coat. So now I'm going to have to let that dry and probably sand it a little bit and then hit it with some more black. And the black was so shiny as it was, I'm probably just going to leave that alone. That's actually what I did on my wife's CX-9 a year ago, and it's held up great. and still looks like it does today. So um, that's probably what I'm going to do. I heard good things about this 2K Clear, but it's just not really doing it for me with the sputtering and stuff. So that's going to set me back a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and, and try to fix what it did, and then uh, put another coat of black on it, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, so I ended up wet sanding the 2K clear little drips and sputters off of the wheels, making them nice and clean, and then putting another thick coat of the gloss black down and made it like it never happened. And here's how it turned out.